Welcome back to Forts. I have a question. <laughs> it's kind of insane, but <laughs> some madman actually did it. What if every, yes, every weapon in Forts was a shotgun? <laughs> what would happen? Let's find out. First step is <laughs> Click, all weapons are shotguns. Okay, let's let's close that pop-up. So in theory, this guy, this little lone machine gunner in this regular forts, normally we play like a crazy map, right? But let let like let's see. He should <laughs> He does. Okay, this is this is particularly weird. I'm excited for it. Just to see. Oh my gosh, we haven't played a regular game of forts in like a long, long time. It's kind of funny, actually. So right now, Control Group 1 is literally just a shotgun machine gunner. And here's the enemy base. I mean, it's been so long, I've almost forgotten some of the rules. But luckily, we're making up our own rules, like every weapon is a shotgun. I'm thinking the first tech we should get is upgrades. While we wait for the amount of resources we need to get the upgrade center. One of the things we're gonna have to do though is protect the core. Now this thing's not really generating any power. Oh my gosh, this is this is wild. This is how you play classic forts. So what's interesting though is like a heat laser is gonna fire us a shotgun? A howitzer is gonna fire us a shotgun? Cannons, lasers, like there's a lot of weird stuff that I don't know how it's gonna work if it's operating as a shotgun. All right, here we go. This is only 89% powerful? All right, now we can start upgrading our mines. And turbines. I'm really kind of scared once the enemy starts firing. So here we go. The machine gun, though, can be upgraded, right? Yes. To a minigun. What is a minigun like when it turns into a shotgun? Alright, uh, that's done now. <laughs> okay, they're not lying, man. Literally, every weapon I've fired so far, which is only two, has been a shotgun. This is funny, man. Oh! Oh. Why am I always having to fight the freaking cloning guy? And by cloning, I mean cloaking. Now the question is, whoa, where are we gonna put our main weaponry? Ooh, the minigun's actually pretty good. Wait, does that mean, yes. A sniper should also be a shotgun. <laughs> I mean, could we win just by firing tons and tons of miniguns at the enemy? I think so. All right, test, sniper, shotgun. Ooh, oh, this is actually really good. This guy's really good as a shotgun. And I've pretty much built all I could in this base already in terms of like its depth. And I we could go higher, just a little higher. All right, a buzzsaw shotgun? Yes, it must be tested. Okay, now we've got armor piercing sniper shotgun. Oh my God, it's incredible. Okay, I thought this was gonna be just like a meme mod pack, but I'm really underestimating the firepower of this thing. Whoa. So we're gonna do a shotgun buzzsaw. <laughs> and they're they're definitely shooting back at me now. Like this ain't just an easy one. So let's increase storage maybe a little bit. Where am I gonna put all this stuff? Alright. This guy's about to die. Oh you jerk. Wait a minute. A shotgun flak gun. <laughs> and they're armoring all of the front of their base. Oh, I see how they did it. They're sticking out like that. That's probably what we should do. But the minigun and the armored sniper might be enough to destroy this enemy fort. It's kind of fun to go back into like just classic. So here we go. A shotgun flat gun? Oh, that's just dirty. Because the shotgun is the- or the- the flat gun is the guy who upgrades to a shotgun. So can a shot- is it gonna be a shotgun shotgun? Are we gonna have like a shotgunception here? Dude, this cloaking stuff makes me wonder about like if forts made like forts colon uh ship battles or like space battles. Oh, oh, it is. It is indeed. It's a shotgun shotgun. It's a shotgunception. 
So it's honestly one of the best weapons in the game. Like, what happens when you shotgun the shotgun? This is what happens when you shotgun the shotgun. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Oh my goodness, I am so happy this exists. Now, I think we're gonna have to start getting rid of these because this is gonna have to become a firing platform. Yeah, let's make them back bracing. We're gonna need to go up a level. And this is gonna have to be doors to protect it because what we're gonna do is create a super laser once we get all of our technology in here. And they call it a mine. I wish- Oh, <laughs> <a> shotgun mines? <laughs> no, that's a little silly. Somebody do it, please. Oh, okay, that was a terrible shot. Oh! You're not allowed to shoot at me, dude. I, I shoot at you. Okay, rocket shotgun. Oh, he can fit, actually. Oh, we got EMP'd badly. All right, let's... Oh, I mean, it didn't really kill him, did it? There we go. Destroying some key things. I think we should aim right up here. Right at their vents. Their little turbines. Oh! <laughs> we didn't automatically fire, but I had to manually fire. I haven't done that in a while. Alright. Shields absorb laser weapons. Well, we don't really need that, do we? Alright. Shotgun... EMP rockets. Oh, oh, oh my god, that was a bad idea. They, they have a ton of flat guns and just absolutely destroyed us. Okay, we need to get this so we can get the big stuff. And we'll put it back on one of these ledges that's like derpy. Okay, so what about, here we go. I'm gonna build a cannon, a shotgun cannon. The enemy's not giving up, I know that much. Enemy turbines are disabled! Haha! -ha. Look at that! That's a cool ability, a little bit cheap in a way. Alright, uh, so once we do this, they just immediately fire all of their anti-aircraft, so I'm not sure that's a very effective one. <gasps> Shotgun mortars? It needs to be tested. It needs to be tested. I should have gotten the guy that like builds things faster. That would have been a better idea. Okay. Shotgun mortars, once he fires, they will be shooting back though. Oh, whoops. <laughs> ah, stop it, make it stop. Okay, mortars are pretty cool, but we definitely need uh, protected things. I'm gonna produce one of these guys like right here. A little R2 droid, a little astromech as I like to call them. Ooh. I'm very curious to see what a shotgun howitzer looks like. We're going to be doing a little bit of a different map next, probably a battleship map, and we're going to get the howitzer out just to test it out. So don't worry, we will test every weapon. Speaking of every weapon, let's fire the cannon shotgun. Oh. <laughs> see, I killed my own base? I killed my own base. Okay, that's cool. Uh, but we can see what the enemy was doing. Uh, mine was not <laughs> structurally sound, I guess. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, we need a different map. We have so many good maps. We're gonna do World War II Mayhem. Now let's change our commander to fast build architect. Okay, we gotta be fast, but everything is a shotgun now, so fire! Oh, most of those missed. Can we reach? Oh. I mean, we can, just not very well. Now, are these also shotguns? Yeah, there's definitely a lot more. Oh my gosh, cluster missiles are insane with how many there are. Oh, they've got them too. All right, our blimp is on fire. <laughs> our blimp is on fire. Didn't we put out all the fires? I guess not. Yeah, and our cannon can't really get there. What we're gonna want to get is a howitzer, I think. So we're gonna need all the tech we can get. We'll put it on the battleship. That's the most structurally sound platform. Although you can hear it creaking already. The blimp is firing at us from above, man. Okay, we need something to defend ourselves against all of this. Ah! Okay, let's target the battleship. Oh my goodness, that is a lot of fires. That way we have a ton of machine guns that should, with like the shotgun bonus, just like absolutely destroy. 
Oh, well, they're dead now. And they're all, like, they're literally all dead. Okay. Here we go. Some of these are going to get through. Oh my god, not many. Oh, <laughs> literally none of them. And every time we fire it, like, the blimp catches fire. Okay. Now we need to get the howitzer, because I feel like the howitzer is the way to destroy the enemy. The doors are open. It's because we're destroying them. Like, you're just as likely to destroy your own base as is evident by the last battle we just had. <laughs> Okay, I'm saving my upgrade for when I'm building the howitzer itself, but I'm kind of curious. What if we were to try? Oh, we need a lot more resources, don't we? Come on. Let's get this third one in There we go, and we're gonna need a sniper targeting computer for it Okay, now we can probably do a little bit more damage because we got a more uh, A better firing arc in theory. There we go. There we go. Oh my god, look at- yeah, so since there's like five shells, I think it like wobbles a lot more. <laughs> Alright, a few more defensive machine guns so the blimp just doesn't die. And we need armor plating. A double batch of it. Oh, they cloaked. I bet you I know where they are. Over there. Hehehehe. <laughs> Ha ha ha! Suckers! Oh, what, what's that? Oh yeah, EMP rockets, that's cute. That's super cute. Okay. Alright. Tons of clusters, you ready? This is like three that are multiplied by I think like five. Oh! <laughs> Wait a minute, that means ballistic missiles. Oh, they fired cannons at us? Oh, okay. I think that's what we gotta do. I want to see what five ballistic missiles. I think that's what it is. Boom, boom. Suppressing fire, boys. Okay, once again, though, we are saving up to check out the howitzer. I don't know if this is a good spot for it. I could do this. Yeah, I could do it right here. I think that's a safer spot. It's away from all this stuff that could crash and explode and maybe harm the, our core. Oh, they're firing rockets again. Oh, down here. Oh, okay. We need any aircraft defense. Shouldn't be too difficult. Oh, yeah. Let's do 3x upgrade speed so we get these ballistics out faster. We're building a lot of stuff at the same time. We still have to check out the laser, though, at some point. Uh, we could put him, like, here. It's kind of a dangerous spot. Fire the cannons. All right. Whoa. What is it? Look at how many bullets are in the air. Even more, we're actually shooting our own blimp. <laughs> Alright, I need a flak gun in a decent spot. Wait, they're firing a howitzer. That was a howitzer shell, wasn't it? That, sm uh, that smell, not the smell, the sound. What is wrong with my senses right now? Okay, we've got... How many ballistics is it? Oh, I can't count it. I can't count it. Somebody count that. Pause it and count it. Do 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 do! Oh my goodness, that's incredible. Okay, and big boy howitzer is ready to go. We don't really have a good firing target locked down, but if we even just hit it, oh, it's just it's just like carpet bombing it, dude. Yeah, they're pretty much toast, my ghost right here. Now the ballistics are firing, and they don't have any anti-aircraft defense because. The battleship has been, like, pretty much destroyed. Dang. Alright. They're looking to target some missiles at us. Let's do flak defense, manually controlled. Yeah! Alright, ballistics first. Followed up by some howitzer shells. All right, let's see if we time that good. Oh, they cloaked, but incoming! Oh, one shell missed, so we need to change the firing arc there. Okay, yeah, I think it's time to put in a laser. Now, we want to put the laser in near the front. So it's less likely to destroy us. And how about some astromechs? They're firing again. Oh, I totally- Oh, no, I didn't- I didn't whiff. Let's do howitzer first this time. Oh! 
I accidentally destroyed something. <laughs> I wish howitzers could upgrade. Oh! Alright, we're doing the 3x speed on the build. Okay. Looking good. Yeah, buddy! Alright, a little bit higher. Oh, that one is so cool. All right, let's wait till we can see him till we fire the, f like the 5X laser. Yeah, look, when you can't cloak, you can't like target lock. That's weird. I mean, it makes sense. Here we go. So we've got regular cluster rockets and ballistics in there. We're on fire. Dude, five, the five X shot, oh, actually that's six X, isn't it? Is that what it is? Am I multiplying everything by five? But what was really happening is we need to multiply everything by six. All right, they're visible, fire the laser. Oh, it's just a solid laser, okay. So the laser is in shotgun. How do we destroy this base? I think what we need is even more missile silos. <laughs> that was derpy. We need to have more energy production, I think. Oh, I just built that! Rude. So rude. Let's flack him. Yeah, there we go. Give him something to think about. I'm glad we're not destroying our own base this time around. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is have six. Oh god, that's bad. Six ballistic missiles all firing at the same time. We do have to check the healing laser because this just didn't work. I mean, it still destroys stuff, but we could try the little auto cannon. Man, these things are built to endure, are they not? Usually, I go for ballistics. Okay, so to fire one requires. 4,500, 700? Yeah, we should be able to do this. We just gotta multiply everything by six and just hope because I'm not actually gonna be doing the math. All right. <laughs> You're gonna have a bad time. Look at that. All right, let's do quicker reload. We have to fire them low. Because they cloaked. Jeez. Okay. Now is the shotgun auto cannon good? You know what? I bet that's pretty good if we actually like hit a decent amount of the target. It did take away my targeting computer. Oh. Okay. Maybe what we do is take out the top guy first. Get air superiority. All right, everything's firing. They'll hit some of them, but so many are gonna make it through and that is the more vulnerable target anyway, right? I can't imagine it surviving that. Oh, look at that one little rogue one. Okay. It actually did survive a decent amount. And the core is in the front part of the ship. Oh, how good is their anti-aircraft? Decent. And some of mine's actually helping out, but is that there? I was gonna say, there's no way that's not enough to destroy the blimp. <laughs> okay. We could just do like mortars, which would be insane. Now, the core is just under like the mass section. Oh, look! I wish that, like, flaming stuff from above could actually set fire to the things below it. Everything must go. It's crazy to think that we played forts where you didn't have the shotgun edition. Because it's pretty awesome. I think we're almost there. Alright, this should be it, right? <laughs> oh, come on. Please kill it. 
Yes! So, what is it like when everything, well, almost everything, it didn't look like the lasers were shotgun in forts? It's pretty incredible, man. Like, even on classic mode, even or even on the custom map. So anyway, thanks for watching another episode of Forts. If you guys do want to see more, well, pull the trigger on the like button, let me know. And I'll see you in the next one.